Hello and welcome to The Sword of the Stones, a Thief 2 fan mission by Vortex85. Uh, this is very new at the time of recording this, it's just uh, December 2022. Uh, this is released just a day or two ago, very recently. So, Ed has no briefing, so let's read it out. You have been hired to steal a valuable sword that was forged from ancient elemental stones called the Sword of the Stones. The owner of the sword, Credulo, is a rich nobleman who lives in a castle outside the city. You've stolen a sword before from the trickster himself, and this is just a mere mortal. So in comparison, this should be pretty basic, right? Let's find out. Been hired to steal a sword? Yes, yes. This man is very wealthy. Get 4,000 in loot. That's a normal, okay. 4,000 is a lot. When you're done, get back to where you started. Hard gives me 5,000. Expert, 10,000. No castle is complete without a treasure room. Get 10,000 in loot. Wow. You're a thief, not a murderer. No need to kill anyone. You know what? I'm going to go for the 5,000. If it's find a treasure room, great. But I'm not going to uh, require it. And more importantly, I'm a thief, but, you know, I'm not above a bit of murder if it's the best way to get out of a tight spot without a quick save. So let's go. Do we get a shop? We do not. Oh, the castle's just up ahead. One healing potion. Garrett's notes, okay. I like the mist coming up from the ground there, that's very nice. I was hoping for a simple job with this one, but the sheer size of this place has me a bit on edge. Rumour has it the so-called Sword of the Stones should be located on the top floor in the owner's personal quarters. It's a long way up, but there should be plenty of valuables to grab along the way. I bribed a former servant for a map of the castle. Unfortunately, he was never allowed past the second floor. Beyond that, I'll just have to be prepared for some exploration tonight. Alright, one flash bomb. We have very little equipment. We're about, yeah, we've got our own sword. A few broadheads, three water arrows, wow. Two more arrows, two rope arrows. Almost nothing. Okay, hopefully this guy has a lot of stuff to steal, because that's not much equipment for me to be going on. Let's check out the map. Okay. Lots of floors. <laughs> Whoever wrote this map can't count past three. This is first floor, second floor, third floor. What comes after third? No, just upper floors. Uh, wow, okay. This place is huge. Anything stand out to me? Uh, uh, gallery. Hmm. Second floor. Maintenance closet might be of interest. Lift. Does that lift go down to the first floor or is that just the stairs up? Yes, the lift goes up. Right, we've got stairs in both these corners and big central staircase. Okay. Well, let's go, shall we? It's a big place. <laughs> do you have any carrots? We do. No carrots growing here indeed. Beautiful. Thank you, Scarecrow. You're my you're my friend. Hug. <laughs> I mean, okay, that's not quite a hug. Alright, what do we got this way? Is that water or is that just that's water with lily pads. Okay, I could jump in and go for a swim. I'm not really sure I want to. The ambient level is pretty high on this mission, actually. Everything feels very light. I mean, I guess it's moonlit. It's a moonlit night. It's uh, not quite full moon. Oh, there's people up there. I'm not looking my direction. Does they have any? Oh, he is looking my direction. He has something to pick off his pocket.
Oh, you're walking back and forth. Okay. Well, don't look this way, mate. I'm gonna grab things, and I don't want to waste a water arrow. I'm a very limited supply for it. Now the other guy's not turning around. He's got a toolbox. What's he doing then? He's supposed to be fixing the cart. Okay, well, I'll try and get the guy when he's at the far end, rather than at this end, because the guy fixing the cart doesn't seem to be turning around. I thought I saw something there, but apparently not. Don't go yet. Wow, it is very bright. Okay. Who's that? Guards, okay. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to go for a swim to find a way in, because the guards at the front gate don't look like they wanna like they would be willing to let us in. Okay, now we can come up and grab it first off the belt here. Can I grab your toolbox? No. Alright. That's all I was trying to do. Hmm. Map says, yeah, it's the bridge. We've got to get across the bridge somehow. Guards patrolling. This place just goes up and up and up, doesn't it? Has this guy come across the bridge or not? It's not a perfect shadow here. Well, I guess this is probably a perfect shadow. Now he turns around. Alright, let's go. <sighs> ah, I saw some windows up here, but they look a bit too high to get in. Oh, hello. What's that down there? A ladder? Barrel. I wonder if this this boat. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's do a high dive. Just curious about this place. I can get back. I should be able to get back up to the bridge again pretty easily. I think. Going on down there. I don't know. I'll check that out too in a minute. Nothing in the boat? Anything in the barrel? Nothing in the barrel. Oh ho! A breast potion and another water arrow, okay. Is that a tunnel? Or is that just uh, into the map? That doesn't look like it continues. Alright, what's up at the top here? More barrels. 
and a ladder that's gonna take us right up back to the top. All right, I don't wanna to go to the top yet. Let's go check out this. What's going on down here? Looks like some rubble has fallen down, but is it of interest? I mean, it looks like there's a passageway. Okay, I would say that's of interest. Let's get some air again. Now we do have a breath potion somewhere. We best keep that handy. Let's go down. Have a swim. See where this takes us. Ooh, through a uh, room transition that always sounds bad. Do we have an auto map? I don't know. It's not telling us where we are yet. If if so, it's kind of a basementy area. More water and plants. Ah, uh, the ambient in here seems a lot darker. Yeah, so it must be the outside area is just pretty light. Makes a lot of sense. Aha. Well, there's the lever we need to open this door, I guess. Will it work if I hit it with a broadhead? Probably not, right? I don't think anybody heard that, so there's no point in reloading. Buttons usually respond to broadheads, levers not so much. Well, that's uh, inconvenient, isn't it? I guess I just gotta go back. I mean, it's very strange. That's what looks like a secret way in that is not a way in. There's something around here I missed. Doesn't appear so. Oh well. Back we go. While we're here, should I swim around the back of the castle and see if there's anything else? I mean, it'll take a few minutes, but probably worth doing, right? We might find another way in. We might find nothing at all. Another bridge at the back. Our oh, rear buildings, right there. Yeah. The arse end of the castle. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find anything swimming around here, it's, uh, unfortunately. Doesn't look like we're going to.
Nope, we just go around again. <laughs> All the way. Do, 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 do. Well, let's go underwater to, to change up the sounds for a bit. Oh, for a speed potion. <laughs> we can just get back to those ladders more quickly. Not too much longer now. I can see the uh, the platform thing. Very weird about that apparent back entrance. It doesn't actually work. I'm curious about what's supposed to be up with that, but. Maybe we'll find out. It's obviously something to just get your attention from this side. <laughs> and with the breath potion right there, kind of suggesting that you should do some swimming. Oh well. Only wasted 10 minutes. And Garrett's got a lot of patience. Watching the guys are coming back now. The window there. It's banner hanging from it. I can't see if that windowsill is wood or not. I would like to imagine it might be, and maybe that's a good way in. Appears not to be wood. I suppose I should use a broadhead and test that way, right? I've got broadheads to spare. I'm not planning on sniping anybody today. I'm gonna need a shadow to hide in when the other guy turns around. Oh, the other guy keeps on going. When does this guy turn around then? Not soon enough to be a problem. Do you have a key or anything, sir? No? Yes, yes, you have something on your belt. Yeah, that looks like a key to me. I'll just take that. Thank you. Leave you two to... I could sneak around the corner without him seeing me, but I should have been paying more attention to my light meter. It was 
showing me pretty lit up. However, we're gonna keep this, right? Look into that. What was that? <sighs> Who was that? Where? Well, it seems clear. Oh, that guy. Okay. Reminder the new gift shop hours will be 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. to better relax the busiest times of the day. But now I will close up evening shift for the next two weeks until employees can make accommodations for the new schedule. Thanks, Sylvia. <coughs> Sylvia, your voice is strange and officious like a guard's. <sighs> this stuff isn't valuable, is it? everything that should be of value. Hello? Mm, nothing, I guess. Oh, well. <clears throat> no, I guess we don't have an order map. Uh, gift room. Right, so we came in here. So I've been through there. Oh, she... She goes for a walk. Okay, well, that's lucky for me. She didn't choose to go for a walk while I was sitting in the way. Guess that means I can check out the rest of the shop a little more safely, but I don't think anything else is about it. <laughs> nah. to the bar. And the library. Let's check out the bar first. There's definitely a couple of people there. Not again, Benny? Benny, you spilled the mead on the rug. Anyway, someone is on their way up to clean it up already. But you don't understand. These tappers have no respect for such beautiful things. Whatever, Benny. I think you should go sleep it off. No more mead for you. No? Nothing there. Well, this place, this place is must be getting to me. very brightly lit. No hand, this stuff is worth, right? Hello? <laughs> Anybody leaves any money on the roulette table? No? On the other tables? Doesn't look like it. This isn't very good, it's very helpful, is it? Give it a spin for luck. Is, is someone over there? Can't reach it, can't spin it. No ma'am, there's nobody here. Well, doesn't seem like anything now. 
It's weird, isn't it? It's just... See something out of the corner of your eye and then it just vanishes. Yeah, it's working out. Don't make too much noise. Who's there? D did you say something? <sighs> Gee, I must have imagined it. Question is, can I drop down on the carpet safely? Yes. <laughs> Nothing valuable in front of her. Nothing behind the bar, it looks like. Unless... Mm, unless I missed some stuff there. <coughs> it's going to be hard to tell. Please. Nobody tapping with you. Me? Nothing there. This place must be getting to me. Hmm, thought I saw something. Wow, how how did he someone there? There's nothing there. That's a... odd. I must be getting sleepy. Eyes in the back of the head. Oh, that's not a valuable wine, all right. Let's assume that's all that's of value in here, because anything else is going to be impossible to get while there's power on. I don't know if turning the power off is going to be an option. What's that? <laughs> Hello? Well, let's try the library instead. You know what, instead of an X, it should be just like, uh... Cross it off. There's somebody in the library, but not near the door. This looks like a nice quiet place as as well. And dark. Very good. What have we got here? I can't read it. Looks important. I guess it wasn't. Is it downstairs to the library as well? That's important. What's this? The Metaphysics of Fractal Bubbles by Archmage Zacharis of the Hand Brotherhood. Paradin's Binding is an advanced spell that has long been used to create portals for travel between two places. When the binding is combined with a pure elemental essence, the portal may instead be opened into a fractal bubble, sometimes called a pocket universe. The bubble will take on some qualities of the element used in its creation, and may also be influenced by the mental state of the caster. For example, a pocket universe created using the essence of fire might manifest as a parched desert surrounded by lava. If the caster's will is strong enough, creatures of elemental fire may even appear in the bubble. Be warned that this process can be dangerous. If the caster's willpower is weak, his fears can manifest as physical dangers within the bubble. Recent experiments have shown that a bubble will expand very slowly over time if the caster concentrates upon this task. It requires an incredible amount of time and energy, and most likely drains the caster's life force. 
It might be possible to substitute the life energy of other beings for this purpose, but we shall not test this for ethical reasons. We theorize that the Maw of Chaos was created by the Trickster as a fractal bubble. Given that the Trickster was a being of long life and extraordinary power, it's not surprising that the Maw eventually grew to become an alternate world of its own. The pagan sorceress Veleda Wildthorn has postulated that the Maw of Chaos was the original true universe, while our world is the result of a fractal bubble. This theory is given little, little weight by any serious scholar. Yeah, how could that more be the original? How could the rest of the orderly universe arise out of a more of chaos? It's not, it's not possible. It's not even probable. Okay, well, we've got noisy floors down here. We don't appear to have anybody around. I saw someone, it was just the, the balustrade thingy me. It's just the stacks. It's just the. Oh. I was gonna say this is just the books nobody wants to read, but something is going on here. Hello? Studying in this library has been a nightmare. The word around the castle lately is that there is a haunting this ba basement. I did not believe it myself as it used to be my favorite place. I thought it was the subject of the latest round of pranks. But as, I, as of late, I think this is no prank against me. The lighting is more dim and the bulbs keep going out. Also strange noises. I can't help but feel there is a shadow moving out of the corner of my eye. In fact, even now, sitting here now, I... Ventilation. That's oh, gonna need a key, okay. I don't see any. I want to hear a few sounds, but nothing for a taffer to be worried by, right? Right? Still fitting quietly, well, relatively quietly, in case people are around. No. There was anything happening there. Yes. I'll leave a note. But let's call the library explored. Continue north out of here, I think, before going upstairs. Was there an, actually, was there another doorway up here? No, this is just an upper floor. Should see if I can get on top of the shelves, actually, and have a look in case there's anything up there. Just in case. Sometimes people like to hide valuable books or things on top of bookshelves when they're, they think it's out of the way and they can come back and pick up their stash. At a quieter time, but no, nothing here. Oh, well, there's something on the other side. Let's uh, take a look. <laughs> Valuable book. There you go. What did I tell you? Okay, let's go out, out the north. So maybe the footsteps I heard were through here? Hmm. Alright. 
A door to the west that goes back to the bar, okay. And in there is the way to the basement. And well, let's check out that door. Seems we've seen something in the basement already. Maybe we can have a uh, emergency exit. Oh, this is a. There's more to this basement than I thought. Guards and all. What's your patrol like, sir? Oh, there's another one. Can we pick this lock? We can. Oh, while I think of it, actually, there's a vent. Which needs a key. in a minute. Cells. Oops, somebody was uh, locked up down here. Hello. Prison key. Oh, I see there's lockboxes. out here, passed away here. Someone else died here, but left only that arm behind. Let's hang on to that key though, shall we? Hello, electrics. Can we turn it off? Apparently not. Okay, and that's where the guards are, right. I want to check out the other door. Maybe the vents are haunted. Okay, well. We're gonna need a key down here, alright. Which end of the basement do we at? We're at the northwest corner. Keep doing leaving random bits of sword around everywhere. Do that. Mm. 
Мне все равно нужно. Almost sounded like someone uh, stealing your secret supplies of uh, broadheads. Oh, there's another one over here. <clears throat> Healing potion. Yeah, good chance I will need that. It happens quite often that I... He's coming this way, that's not great for me. <clears throat> okay, so he has a longer route than the other guy. Keep a statue. Basement, this place is enormous. Keep out private property. Also, nothing about you. What about behind your banners, man? She took it. I knew she did. She always made fun of me, and she has it out of me. I never trusted her that witch. She's up to no good, and I'll get to the bottom of it. I swear. I just need proof. I watch and wait for her to leave. I'll get it back, get the evidence I need. She took what? God, supply key, okay. Maybe that's the key I needed for the basement? Door? Quiet, Garrett. See? You're not one of the same guys that's filming the other area. Are you? Hmm. Maybe you are. Obviously not going to be the guard supply key, nor the prison key, I'm quite sure. Kind of prop the candles out, but it's not clear when you're looking at the thing. Okay, so at the eastern end... She a witch or was it she he was that guy just calling her a witch? I'm not a witch, I'm your wife. More basement. Maybe this is where we found the well before, which we couldn't get in by. Serious needs a key and a code. Okay. Yeah, it's just rubbish stored. Hmm. 
Curious about the passive there. I see the piece of cheese. I recognize that from earlier. We have the lever here. There we are. What about this? Where does this take me? completely failed to see there's a, a hole here. Well, uh, joke's on me, because I have a very similar secret uh, passage behind a plant in my mission that most players ended up not finding. Um, <laughs> Alright, so that's, that's, that's the way it could have come in. I could have got in via the basement. Uh, where is the vault, by the way? Vault's at the southern end of the... southeastern end of the basement. Northeastern. That's got to be the treasure room, right? Oh, this is just a passage. Hello? Show yourself. I just haven't explored that room yet. And now is a very good time to do so. Well, I haven't explored all of it. Where did these two guys come from? I thought there were only two guys walking around here. Maybe it's not such a good time to do this. So there's at least three guys patrolling in. But didn't someone just go in here? Is there four guys patrolling around here? I've just... Not noticed. Who's there? Hello. Nothing here now. Good work. All right, wait to open doors into your own face. Okay, that's another way into the basement. Oh, this is uh, right. I've been through here. I just go back to the prison. Whoop. Let's just watch and wait for this guy, shall we? Second guy coming back. Third guy, I don't know, I just can't, can't keep track of these guys. Not too many of them. I have I been everywhere along here? No, I haven't been in here. If anyone finds a bolt key, report it immediately. If not found in 24 hours, we'll start a search party in town to find the captain's whereabouts, as he may still have it with him. Oh, is that what the guy was writing about? Which has the vault key? Hmm. Also, I did pick up that guard's supply storage key that I... Uh, 
Maybe the other room, the other double doors I couldn't open is the key I need for that, so let's find out. Maybe that's this one. What's this one? Speed potion, healing potion, nice. Flares, well, you know. Can't complain. Moss, gas. Oh, okay. I went to broadheads. Wow, these guys are well supplied. What do we have now? A few more broadheads, a couple more waters, two fire arrows, a gas arrow, and uh, a speed potion, and another healing potion, and a couple more flash bombs. That should be good value. <laughs> I don't remember which way he's facing. I think he's facing away from me, but... Oh, hello. Mine as well. Kind of want to jump, but... Uh, don't want to make noise. <laughs> Flash mine. It's a shame the captain just cold quit without telling anyone. It's not like him to disappear unannounced, and I always thought he was a good guy, though, despite his quirks. I do miss the conversations we used to have. He had some pretty interesting ideas. But things were starting to get a little tense around here between him and... Well, maybe it's the best he's gone now. Another flash bomb, thank you. Some more in there. Okay, well, I should probably go the long way around to get to those. Hello. Yeah, let's go the long way around. Nothing there. Weird. We can safely say we've looted these guys. these big doors. Hello? 
There's another banner here I forgot to cut down, actually. Very important work. Banners are tools of the trickster. Or, I mean, not really, but, you know. Is it painting? Don't know. Looks a little odd. The tools are tricks there. <laughs> Shit, super bright here. And there's arches. Yeah, it's a too big. Hmm. All right. Well, at least we do have a dark corner in which to observe. And uh, I think I'll end the episode here. So thanks very much for watching. See you soon for the next bit.